Hi everybody. In today's section we're going to talk about uh, a series of consoles produced by a company called Analog. And uh, I really really enjoy these consoles um, because they are really the best attempt we've had to date of a way to modernize some of the older console systems to be able to play with the modern TVs that we have especially with HD capabilities. The company I'm talking about is called Analog and uh, as you can see I got a few of their systems and I'm a big fan because of again with these systems you're able to play some of the old cartridges from uh, NES, Super NES, Genesis, Mega Drive and they these consoles heavily mimic the internal circuitry that were used in the original consoles but provide um, ways to improve the image quality with an HDMI output and make it a very very simple way to enjoy excellent image quality um, and audio in today's TVs with these old cartridges. Um, here some of the systems I have include um, two NES versions of the released by analog the top one is a mini NT type version so their smaller set of the NES and also count with the Super Nintendo version same way that you can play the old Super Nintendo cartridges and have great great image quality um, here I have the Genesis slash Mega Drive version of the system and this one I couldn't resist <laughs> and have been playing with it. And I'll, I'll share a little bit about this one. So what you'll get is a, a pretty small system as far as the form factor. You can see the cartridge size specifically for the NES, or sorry, the Genesis cartridges. And it has the original ports so that you can use the original controllers that came with the console, but it still has an audio out port. Now it has a little side card for um, an SD slot card and there's different things that you can do here um, there's even been people that have been able to modify these consoles to do above and beyond what they're originally designed to do um, in the box which you'll get a small little instruction manual um, and guide for the Genesis version uh, or the Mega SD version you get a little spacer so that you can attach this to um, the Sega CD um, accessories and then you'll have the typical stuff HDMI cord your power adapter um, with a little block and also an adapter um, cartridge now that's one of the things I also love that uh, analog has done with these systems is they've come out and produced different adapter sets to give these systems significant flexibility with the games you play and as an example to this I have here an adapter set that I got which helps adapt this Mega SG system to be able to play with the Game Gear Boys or Game Gear Games, I'm sorry, uh, with uh, my card, so the little cards that uh, came with some of the games for Sega, and then the Mark III SG-1000 system as well. Here's a little peek at how these adapters look but it's exactly like it's called their adapter so this one is for the card and for the other systems these systems um, are sometimes hard to get because there's such a high demand for them typically when they go on sale they sell out very very quick um, the best advice to pick one of these up um, there's a couple different options um, one of them is uh, keep an eye out on Analog's webpage um, and their Twitter feed as well. They'll typically announce advance on their Twitter feed when they're going to get new stocks on some of these consoles. And when they do get them, they don't last long. Um, they typically go pretty quick. Um, or you can go through some of the other reseller options uh, being um, Mercari, a good choice. They always have a good variety there. Um, as uh, one of the different outlets that you can pick these up um, and here you have the little HDMI out as well 
for uh, modern graphics. Um, definitely one of the best ways out there to enjoy old carts on modern day TVs. And I highly recommend these systems. Um, they're great, great quality. Um, if you've played with these and have different experiences on them, please share in the comments section. We'd love to hear from some of you and your thoughts on some of these analog systems. There's a portable version that's coming out, um, but pre-orders flew out, and uh, that one's been very, very hard to try to get. Hopefully, they're going to get more stocks on it and uh, have uh, another shot at trying to get one of those. Well, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thank you for watching.